name is William Ray. I study chemical engineer and this is my presentation for technical English too. This presentation will be a short description about the physical chemical process plants do to obtain their own livelihood and it will be explained how chemistry is related to this. Okay, let's begin. So basically Photosynthesis is defined as the physicochemical processes by which organisms synthesize organic compounds. Right now, I will explain the two types of photosynthesis. The first one is called oxygenic photosynthesis, which is basically in the absorption of CO2. Then CO2 accompanied with light energy and water synthesize carbohydrates and release molecular oxygen to the atmosphere. The second one is called an oxygenic photosynthesis. This one begins just like the previous I mentioned by the difference that bacteria do not release molecular oxygen to the atmosphere. They only use the resources that are light energy, carbon dioxide, and water to get their own supplementation, which is not bad because bacteria help us in a bit to reduce the large amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. So, in plants, um, this reaction is caused in chloroplasts, which absorbs light. The, these are organelles which can be found in certain cells. Chloroplasts give the plants the energy to the development and to the growth. So this reaction is also driven by pigments. It's pigment molecules which absorb light. And in the chlorophyll, the the CH3 is replaced with a CHO group, which means plants are green thanks to chlorophyll. Back in time, in the middle of the 19th century, it was already known that plants produced carbohydrates and released O2 in the atmosphere from the absorption of light energy, carbon dioxide, and water. So, right now, and it begins the, the chemical part. So this equation right here is the most basically um, empirical equation of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is an endothermic, re uh, endothermic reaction, which means that the system uh, that is the plant absorbs energy. So the enthalpy of reaction must be positive. For the reduction of one mole of CO2, the enthalpy of reaction equals positive 478 kilojoules per mole. And glucose is also a product of photosynthesis. This one right here is the empirical equation. So for a production of one mole of glucose, the enthalpy of of reaction is super super endothermic so it is positive 2870 kilojoules per mole so basically that's photosynthesis and thank you for watching